In 1878, Halvor Christian Solberg immigrated to the United States from Norway at the age of 17 to join his father in Spring Grove, Minnesota. Three years later, Solberg moved to Fargo, Dakota Territory to work as a carpenter and cabinet maker, which he did for several years before becoming a homesteader outside what is now Britain, South Dakota. In 1887, Solberg enrolled at the Dakota Agricultural College, now South Dakota State University, to become a licensed contractor. President Louis McLouth struggled to find experienced industrial arts and engineering instructors for the college. Ultimately, he began recruiting faculty from within the student body. In 1889, he hired Halvor Solberg as an instructor in carpentry and woodworking. Solberg finished his Bachelor's of Science degree while teaching classes and building furniture for the college. From 1891 to 1896, Solberg developed the foundation for a formal engineering department. He developed curriculum in mechanical engineering and established the first steam engineering short course. During this time, steam engines were becoming common on farms across the nation. They were dangerous if not handled properly, causing fatal explosions. Solberg saw a need for educating farmers about how to operate and maintain steam engines safely. This course lasted six months and taught farmers not only the engineering of steam, but also a general course to improve farm management. The certificate program was a pilot for all steam engineering short courses at land-grant colleges across the United States. This in turn saved many lives. The students of the short course earned the nickname Solberg's Whistlers because their steam engine whistles could be heard across campus. Though students teased him for his distinct Norwegian accent, Solberg was popular and well-respected. His classes were tough and he pushed students to excel, earning him the nickname the Captain of Industry. He mentored several young engineers who went on to become highly successful in their own right, including Stephen F. Briggs of Briggs & Stratton Engines. In 1896, Halvor Solberg was promoted to Professor of Practical Mechanics after he received his master's degree in mechanical engineering. A year later, Solberg set out to build a building for the engineering department. With only receiving one-third of the funding from state legislature, Solberg began scrounging lumber and enlisting student body to build the first engineering building. The department quickly outgrew this building and plans began for a new engineering hall. In 1901, Professor Solberg designed and supervised the construction of not only the new physics and engineering hall, but also other buildings on campus during his tenure. The university renamed this hall to Solberg Hall in 1966, in honor of his dedication to developing the university's engineering programs. From 1902 until his death in 1932, Solberg was the head of the Mechanical Engineering Department at what is now South Dakota State University. Solberg's legacy lives on in the students he directly mentored and through the Halvor C. Solberg Scholarship at South Dakota State University, investing in the engineers of tomorrow, continuing to create captains of industry.